Cambridge on defense. But the Paladins able to muster up a little offense here. Coach Bobby Johnson in his second season with the Furman Paladins as head coach. And, and back to Moore. Moore. And he's at the 20. 15 makes the move and up to the nine yard line. Nice run for Mark Moore. Another look. Hand back to Moore. A little sweep action. An excellent blocking up front. Moore cuts back up inside. And the chains move again for the Paladins. Keeley in the lineup makes the tackle for Marshall. So it is first and goal from the nine. And Moore. 55 yards rushing on 11 carries thus far. Bob option. Bonaventure keeps at the five yard line and works his way to the two. They run that counter option. Excellent. Little misdirection. There's the misdirection. You fake to the fullback. Bonaventure just keeps the ball. Almost gets in the end zone. Thomas Maxwell makes a stop for the herd. It's Bonaventure. Got Back an awful lot of huddle. substitutions out here on both sides. Second down goal from the two. Toss sweep. McClarty will no, not sir. get in. May have lost a yard on the play. Larry McLeod with the no tackle. Game, goal from the Larry McLeod, boy, what an afternoon he's had. Another look. Toss sweep. McLarty back into the boundary. There's McLeod unblocked. You see who gets the best of that little get together. And Marshall's getting his first teamers back in there to try to make the goal line Protect stand. the shutout. <laughs> That's right. Third down and goal now from the three. They're proud of that shutout. Yeah, you see all those muddy jerseys back in there. Not a bunch of fakes. Look at the throw. Nowhere to go. Goes now he to goes in the end. Touchdown. touchdown. Luther Broughton with the touchdown reception. And Furman scores for the first time with eight minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. And that was against Marshall's first days. Here's another look. Takes to his tailback. Pretty good coverage. Nowhere to go with the ball. Bonaventure buys some time and then finds his big tight end, Luther Broughton, in the end zone for a touch. So the Paladins get on the board here for the first time this afternoon. And Bonaventure will stay in for the two point conversion attempt. One for two. Wants to throw. Bonaventure in trouble Lushed from again. behind. Gets away. Throws it out of bounds. And the two-point conversion is two no good. There's timeout on the field. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to play in Greenville, South Carolina. Marshall 31, Furman 6. Marshall, of course, has a big game coming up next Saturday against Hofstra. Hofstra unbeaten and number nine entering this Saturday's game. There's the score drive. Furman, that's an excellent drive. Seven plays, 63 yards in three minutes and 23 seconds. You mentioned a big, big game. Hofstra will come to town most likely undefeated. I believe they played Rhode Island today. The Rhode Island Rams. But when they come to Huntington, they better bring a little more of that unbeaten record with them. I can tell you what, they better bring some folks that can play. Because that's going to be quite a get together and a warm up for the 1 AA playoffs. Final regular season game of the year for Marshall. Marshall University Stadium next Saturday afternoon. Kicking off, David Burton. Fair catch. At the 11 yard line. And I ain't real sure why you said go for a fair catch. I'm just not really sure. Just I number nine Thomas here. Maxwell well he's not used to catching it there's a flag down 
Offside against the kicking Offside team. Offside against Barber. Just go ahead and take the ball, and let's get on with it. I don't think, well, yes, they are going to make them kick it over again. And they go tell Thomas Maxwell, if there ain't somebody within 20 yards of you, don't signal for a fair catch. Just playing it safe. But Maxwell's not used to being back there in the, you know, in the youngster's defense. He normally doesn't run them back. He wants something exciting to happen. He'll put Melvin Cunningham back in. I believe he is. Marshall is going to improve to seven and one in the Southern Conference, eight and two overall. Furman will drop to four and three in the conference and uh, five and five overall. And Georgia Southern uh, defeated non-conference Liberty today, seven to six. So Georgia Southern up to seven and three. So four and three Furman, four and three Georgia Southern in the Southern Conference standings. And the Paladins will close out at uh, UTC Chattanooga. What in the W? Georgia Southern will end up playing at VMI for the final regular season game. And when you go to Lexington, you better be ready to play. Those cadets, they get aroused. So Furman will kick off now from the 30-yard line. David Burton. From the 10, 20, Thomas up to the 27-yard line. So Marshall will start there offensively. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left in the game at the Wyatt Paladin Stadium. Homecoming for Furman, but it's not going New quarterback uh, uh, well. for the herd, uh, Mike. Mark Zaban, number seven. He has, uh, well, he's thrown uh, 36 passes this season, 19 of 36, a touchdown, three interceptions. You can tell who's new in the lineup, can't you? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Those beautiful white jerseys. Band on the season. Hands off. Parker hit right at the line of scrimmage. Carried by Chris Parker. Number 51 getting there to cause some problems. Daryl Smith. He was stoned at the line of scrimmage. Right now the herd content to just keep it on the ground. Let the clock continue to run. And ride off into the We're sunset the back to Huntington. Second that airplane 11. trip will be very, very pleasant going back. Man, going to be a heck of a quarterback to transfer over from Ohio State to get himself healthy once again. Little double screen. Finds Thomas at the 25, 35 now, and he goes down at the 41 yard line. That's a Marshall first down. So Bam does an excellent job of executing that double screen. Another look. You fake to your tailback, fake the screen one way. Screen back the other. First down for Marshall. Let's say the defensive secondary, you divide both the backs and the linebackers. They're not real sure which way it's going. Thomas, an excellent run down the sideline. To keep the ball inbounds if you're Marshall. The band wants to throw at first Once down. Has got Looking long and under throws throw. the intended receiver. And it's a pretty good, uh, it, it <laughs> actually, it was pretty good that he underthrew it. So that ball might have been, uh, there were a bunch of purple jerseys down there. There in Todd, the target. Ball might have slipped. Let's take a look here. It fakes to his tailback. Mark Zaban sets his feet. Don't think he had a real good uh, grip on the ball. You can see it underthrown. So it'll be second down and 10. And the handoff to Darling. 45 to the 47 yard line. Third down and three upcoming. Scott making the tackle. Darling with a carry. Starting to get a little more windy. A little breezy. But that's not going to bother the Marshall running attack. Not even a little bit. There you can see those flags whipping in the breeze. On the Southern Conference schools there. Oh, glory. Stand at attention. <laughs> Beautiful sight here in Greenville, South Carolina. I know one thing. If I'm playing homecoming at home, I want somebody different than Marshall to come in here. Darling on the 
pitch is across midfield and has the first down. Stops the clock with 6.09 to play. Darling, the sophomore from Staten Island, New York. Another look. Toss sweep. As a band pitches back. First down for Darling. Another one of those tailbacks. Gets knocked out of bounds. Corey Keck. But the chains move, and that's all the herd's got in mind. Coach Donald, I think, went down at the end of that play. You can look at his pass. Look like he'd been playing. <laughs> Darling now on the pitch back. Midfield, he's got some room. 45, he's got some room. 40, look out. 35, 30, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Number 33 knocks him out of bounds. That's Jeremy Osborne, who's been all over the field today for the Th Furman Paladins. But a nice gain for Darling, 27 yards. You know, Jeremy Osborne's had a heck of an afternoon as a free safety. But you don't want that free safety making too many tackles. He's made too many here this afternoon. Here's another look. Get out of my way, please. 44, Albert Barber. Albert Barber was just in his way. Javon Darling said, get out. I'm going to do the rest. Ball's on the ground. Zaban falls on it at the 26-yard line. Looking to run that toss sweep. Couldn't find the handle. It's going to be second down at about 12. The clock continues to run. Darling, six carries, 45 yards this afternoon. Another one of those tailbacks. Five and a half minutes now to go at Paladin Stadium. Toss sweep. Darling slides down. Runs over his own man. I don't know who he ran into, but I believe he hurt him. Looks like Jenkins. Back up Jenkins. Tight end. Yeah, I mean, he ran right into the back of him. I mean, he took a lick. Watch this. Jenkins is blocking. And Darling runs right into the back of him. Oh, I'll tell you, that doesn't look good at all. I mean, pinned him there. Had his leg caught up under him. That was a pretty good shot. Able to walk off. Got a little hit. Giddy up. They can't afford to lose Javon Jenkins. Back up tight end. He's uh, he's been a good one for him. Jenkins, just a freshman of Ocala, Florida. Well, they think he's going to be a dandy down the road. Third down and 13 for Marshall. Zaban goes down. He's sacked back at the 36-yard line. So it'll be a fourth down situation now for Marshall. Looks like Williams, number 56, got back there to make the tackle. Mark Zaban, seven-step drop, sets his feet. He's getting some pressure. Doesn't have the mobility with that bad Four knee that he used to have. That's just a big sack right there. Big sack by Reggie Williams. Chris Hansen in now to punt, standing at midfield. Back to receive for Furman, Josh Number 80, Josh Cole waits for it at the 10 yard line. There's Cole. Clock running with 4-10 to play in the game. Good snap. Nice punt. And looks like it's going to go. Dead well, on about the one. Stay <laughs> in. It does stay in. It takes the a one perfect bounce. Line. Cunningham's there to down it. I think it's been that kind of day for the Paladins. Paladins take take over over first first when you're hot, you're hot. hot. And right now, everything Marshall's doing is right. Melvin Cunningham talking to somebody. 